we just need to find a way to uh, wake the people up. Because the point is simply this. It, it comes down to a choice. It's either freedom, democracy, and the rule of law, or enslavement. There is no such thing in between. There is no such thing as a little freedom, a little democracy, a little rule of law, just as there is no such thing as a little enslavement. So that's, that's the choice. It comes down to it's either the globalitarian misanthropists or the people. It comes down to it's either us or them. And that's, I think, what this really is all about. Now, when my colleagues and I were elected to this parliament, there was no question about it. We were on the side of the people. Because the people actually pay us to act in their best interest. That's our job. And once again, I will say to every single elected representative around the world, to every single member in every elected government around the world, if you do not unequivocally stand with the people, and serve in their best interest, act in their best interest, you have no place in any parliament or in any government. You belong behind bars. You may even rot in hell for all I care at this point, because that's exactly what you deserve if you sell out the people. Now I would like to make a promise to the people, and I'm pretty sure I can speak uh, or speak on behalf of my colleagues. We will continue to stand with you, the people. We will continue to fight for freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. We will not shut up, and we will not stop going after those despicable globalitarian misanthropists. But we would also like to have you make a promise to us. You may have heard, it's all coming back. The first country is already starting about talking mass mandates in Israel. They're already imposing it. I've heard of a few universities in the United States. They're already bringing it all back. And I would really like for you, the people, to not go along. Simply say no. They want you to wear a mask, say no. They want you to put in another mRNA shot, say no. They want to impose a curfew on you, say no. That's really all you have to do. And it might not be or it might sound a little, little hard, but it's actually not that hard. Because once you've made it clear to them that you will no longer go along, once you've let them know, they cannot scare you anymore. Because as long as you're afraid of what they might do, if you don't comply, they have power over you. Take the power away from them. Simply say, no. Once you do that, they don't have power over you anymore. You will feel so free. Simply say no. And considering what we've heard today, and considering what we've seen in the last three years, considering what we know they want to implement, heck, you might even be well within your right to tell them to screw themselves and go to hell. That's where they belong. What will you get out of that? I can tell you. Once you've done that, once you've told them to just go to hell, they no longer have power over you, 
you will have an incredible feeling. A kind of like a sensation of freedom will swap through your body. I promise. You will feel so relieved. And this is the state of mind that I would ask all of you to get to. Simply don't let them grind you down anymore. You are worth it. You are deserving of just standing up for yourselves and tell them all to go to hell. Thank you very much.